the fishing rod method should only be considered as a complement to the overall training of your pointing dog. This old training method can be used in so many ways and only your imagination is the limit for what you can achieve. We will try to scratch the surface with a series of films showing just a few examples you can use at home training your pointing dog. It is important that you only use this method as a supplement to the training and especially when you train pointing it can never should not replace real situations with wild birds. The fishing rod method is considered to be a very old training method originally invented to train stamina and condition of the dog. But as you start to use this method you will soon realize that the method has a great range of potential especially if you train with shaping. You can use this method on puppies as well as older dogs. I have seen dogs at the young age of 8 weeks pointing by using this method. But you have to be very careful if you train with young dogs, as it can be very physical demanding for the dog, and that of course is the case even for older dogs. You can start to use this method regardless of your dog's age, although you will have to have more patience with older dogs if you wanted to punch or win. It seems that dogs that have learned punching from the very start on wild birds seems to be a little slower on punching on this method, maybe because that they really need the wild bird to stimulate the point. But I am convinced that with patience all points in dogs eventually will point to a wing attached to a fishing rod. Oh, don't fuck, buddy. Took me. <laughs> the equipment is also the reason for the name. You only need a fishing rod, some wire attached to the end of the rod, I use a fishing line on, on approximately 2 meters and something to put on the end of the line depending on what you want to train. It can be a dummy, some skin and even a glove, but on this film I use a pigeon wing. You start with letting, in this case, the wing sail around the dog in every kind of motion and also in the air. The wing will through its motions motivate the dog into a hex, something that instinctively lies within all dogs. When you start, you need to give the dog a reason to love this game. Therefore, you let the dog catch the item, and in the beginning it could be a good idea to use a dummy that can stand some biting. Quite quickly, you can try to provoke a point. Some dogs do it after seconds, others need several days of practicing. To provoke the point, you do not let the dog get the wing before the dog has been in an actual punching position. Only after that, you let the dog advance and the first time you let the dog get the wing as a reward. From there on, you only once in a while let the dog get the wing as a reward. From this moment, you put on layers of demands by the method of shaping that is eventually what the dog can expect on a real hunting situation. For example, the shooting after the advancing of the bird, the retrieving of the bird, and as it is showing on this film, to sit after the advance. Start at home just to get the dog pointing and get the dog to love this game. Next step will be to have the dog sit after the advancing. The method is especially helpful if you do not have access to many wild birds and you need to train situations around the pointing. It will also create situations that will learn you to read the dog better. I guarantee that this will be a very rewarding tool both for you and your dog.